good afternoon and welcome to Pocket Sports. You're here joining us today uh, for the preview of the upcoming Pro Series in a few days time. My name's Aaron Tracy. I'll be the host of the day. And to my left, I have Dakota Cook here. And Dakota, Dakota Cook is our tournament manager. How are you, Dakota? Yeah, not too bad, mate. It's, uh, we're only five days out, so we are getting real close now. It's been a long time coming. Um, really look forward to it. Absolutely. I'd like to kick things off by firstly announcing this fantastic partnership. You've probably seen behind me, we've got a very impressive set here, and we're very happy to be partnering up with SEN themselves, Sports Entertainment Network, obviously all things sport, including uh, putting together productions and so forth. Um, so we're very happy to be here using their studios. Um, it's opened up a lot of opportunities for us. So Pockets as a whole and Arthur, the, the tournament director, is very happy to have this partnership and we look forward to creating something that is mutually beneficial. So thank you, SEN. Um, great opportunity, like I said. Um, and obviously the tickets for this Sunday is when our Pro Series opens. Uh, our Pro Series 1 begins on Sunday afternoon. There are still tickets available, so get them. If you can't be there live, uh, you can also stream from the Pockets website. Uh, also the SEN app, so get onto the SEN app and um, see what else SEN has to offer. Right, I'm going to uh, throw over to you, Dakota, and um, let's have a little quick chat about uh, and preview the uh, upcoming Pro Series. So we've got two Pro Series coming up back to back. That'd be Sunday and Monday. Yep. Um, tell me about the, uh, the tournaments that we've got coming up and the formats for Sunday and Monday Pro Series yep. 1 and 2. So Sunday is actually a race to eight event. Um, it's, we call it Championship 1 and Monday is Championship 2. So Sunday is a race to eight. It's a single elimination event. Um, so we've got obviously eight of Australia's best players competing in it. And Monday is a race to six event. Um, so Sunday will be an hour 20 match clock. We've got a 30 second uh, shot clock, 45 second shot clock, sorry, with a 15 second uh, extension per frame. Um, and then on Monday, it's only an hour match clock, same, same thing, same scenario. It'll be a 45 second clock with a 15 second uh, extension per frame. And again, that's also single elimination. So it's very cutthroat. Absolutely. And do you think with those shot clocks, that's going to uh, inject a little bit of excitement and, and pressure for the players? How do you think the players are going to respond to, to those shot clocks? Well, um, I think my personal opinion, Justin will probably adapt to the shot clock the best, considering he's got the most experience with overseas shot clocks and, and, uh, and whatnot. Justin Sage? Yes, uh, Justin from Sage. From New South Wales, yep. yes. Um, I think personally, on a personal level, I've seen Mark Robertson and Michael Scarry play, um, and even Ben Noonan as such. I think uh, it's going to take a little bit for those guys to get, get used to the shot clock. I do know that they, they like to take their time. Um, and don't get me wrong, we are used to world rules here in Australia, so this is a breath of fresh air. Um, in world rules, you do get a minute. So it's, it's real cut down to 45 seconds here with only one 15 second extension per frame. So. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, look out for that. That is going to be uh, quite a roller coaster. Uh, a lot of these players have played together before, but never in this format before, and never in Australia. So we are creating history here at Pockets uh, by creating effectively Australia's largest ever professional pool series. So, and I uh, hope you can all join us for that. So we're really looking forward. So we've got Pro Series 1 on Sunday. We've got the Pro Series 2. Um, now the draw is out. I'd like to um, quickly discuss the draw. We'll start with Pro Series 1. Now we've done the draw. We did that within the last hour. Um, it was randomly drawn and uh, Dakota's going to take us through the matchups. Quite some, some quite interesting matchups here. Yes, definitely. So we, uh, we actually went through the draw live with all the players. So straight off the bat, we got an all Vic matchup. We got Joel Younger taking on Michael Scary. Um, and then the very on, that's on table one, sorry. And then on table two, we got an all interstate matchup, which will be James Dullahunty taking on Steve Woods. Um, and then coming up, that, those matches begin at 3.30 p.m. And then coming up at 5 p.m., we'll have another all interstater uh, rivalry. I know these guys love playing each other, and that's Justin Sayich and Rusty Wheeler. And then again, an all big battle between Mark Robertson and uh, Ben Noonan. Um, so, Every single, every single matchup for the first one is basically interstate versus interstate and Vic versus Vic. So it's going to mean 
that come second rounds, it's gonna be it's gonna be what everyone wants to see, and that's an interstate clash, Vic versus interstate, because it's it's real it's real big here. People people in Vic are always gonna back every Victorian. We do have four Victorians in it, and we got four interstaters. Um, we got. Justin from New South Wales, Rusty from Queensland, Steve Woods from ACT, and James Dallahunty from South Australia. And the other boys, Joel Younger, Michael Scarry, Ben Noonan, and Mark Robertson, all reside here in Melbourne, Victoria. Absolutely fantastic. And you'll notice that uh, when you see these matchups, a lot of these guys have played a lot of pool uh, for and against each other over the years. So you'll see some rivalries develop there and um, that have been going on for several years. So um, keep a close eye on that. This will be the clash of the Titans. These are the best pool players in Australia. There's no question about that. Uh, and uh, don't miss out on the, uh, the clash of the, uh, the states as well. So really looking forward to that. I'll quickly uh, cut to uh, Pro Series 2, which is the following day. So don't take a breath Sunday night. We'll be straight back at it Monday uh, evening for Pro Series 2. Do you yep. want to run us through that draw very quickly? Yep, so uh, Monday we're actually kicking off from 5 p.m. Um, and there is actually a couple of, it's, it's, it's very interesting. We've got a couple of double ups here. So we got. So we've got the same, we've got a couple of same people drawn against each other in the first round as a yes, Pro Series yes. 1. Yes, and I guess that's, uh, you know, anything can happen when it's random drawn. Does It's not, uh, Some you know. revenge attacks perhaps there. That, that's people, exactly people, right. People so. out for blood. So run us through the draw, please. So uh, first up, we got James Dallahunty taking on Joel Younger, which is um, South Australia versus Vic. Um, and then on the other table, we'll have Michael Scary versus Steve Woods, Vic versus ACT. So... That's them too, and they'll be kicking off at 5 p.m. And then at 6, 6 10 p.m., we'll cross over to Rusty Wheeler, who will be taking on Justin Sage again. Uh, so one of those players will be looking for a bit, of, a bit of revenge prior to day one. And then we also have Mark Robertson again taking on Ben Noonan. So same, same scenario there. One of those players will be looking for a bit of revenge. Very much so. So. Um, look, really exciting couple of days worth of pool we've got coming up with Australia's best pool players. We can't wait for that. We've got the Pockets Pro Series Challenger event coming up. Uh, now this is a prelude to the 2023 Pro Series and this is basically qualifying. So I'm going to cut to you in a second, Dakota, and I'd like you to just step us through from the grassroots level how you can actually, anybody can enter this and how they can potentially, if they win enough matches, uh, they can actually uh, qualify for next year's Pro Series. Yes, so we thought, you know, we are based here in, in Melbourne, in Victoria, uh, but we thought what better way to try and get everyone involved. Uh, myself, um, Arthur and the team will be traveling around to each state. So South Australia and Victoria will both have two satellites. Mm -hmm. um, then we got Northern Territory, uh, Tasmania, WA and Queensland who also have one satellite each. Um, it's there, anyone can enter. It's, it's $100 to enter. You can enter on the Pockets, on the Pockets website, pockets.com.au. There'll be a little link there to click on the Pro Challenger series. Um, basically, you, you select where you're from. It's got an option to what skill level you are so we can uh, sort of get a, um, a gauge of, yes, uh, where, a, we're, a gauge where, they're of yep. where they're at and whatnot. Um, and then it'll be hosted obviously throughout the, this year. We haven't, we haven't set out venues just yet, but that, that scenario, it's gonna be a round robin um, with, it'll be a seeded comp as well. Okay. So if you do well in the round robin stages, then it goes to a single elimination. All right, single Dakota, elimination. talk me through this, okay? I wanna qualify for the, the Pro Series next year. I, I enter the satellite tournament, I pay my $100. Yep. Um, I, do I have to win the tournament? What happens? Uh, what do I need to do to get into the Challenger Series from the satellite? So there is two ways you can enter it. Two ways you can win, sorry. Um, one would be, so basically with these satellites, we'll be taking the top four from each satellite. So there'll be a 32 players all up. So once those 32 players from each satellite, those top four from each satellite, they'll come down to Victoria to compete in our Pro Challenger. Um, there we'll be taking uh, the top four. Um, but don't don't worry if you don't make it there we also have four wild cards available up for grabs and again myself arthur the team will be traveling around not just to these comps but you'll uh the local comps like we got aubrey coming up um empire berry uh you you may see us there um just having a look around scouting see 
keep an eye, keeping an eye on people uh, for those wildcard entries as well. So with the Challenger series, uh, will that be televised uh, on apps, etc.? And the other question is, is who goes through, uh, how many people go through from the Challenger Series to 2023 Pockets Pro Series? Okay, yes, yeah, so the Challenger Series itself will be televised, um, obviously down at Pockets in Melbourne. Um, and from there, it's a 32 player field. And from there, we'll be taking the top four. So the final four players, it's a, also, it'll be a double elimination. So you do get your fair share. It'll be a race to eight, it's a double elimination. Race to eight winner's side, race to six on the, on the second line. Um, so same scenario with the Pro Series. Okay. So day one's race to eight and uh, championship two's race to six. So we're trying to give them the same sort of atmosphere, the same sort of feel. Um, so again, you get, you get your chances. So if it's very cutthroat, but you do get two chances to make it and we'll be taking top four. Well, there you go. So it is open to anyone. There are four positions available for the Challenger Series. There will be four official qualifiers that go into 2023 Pockets Pro Series and another four wildcards. So anybody can make it, get your entries in and uh, we'll see you at the satellite. To finish off, we're going to, uh, I'm going to throw to Dakota here and uh, ask him the hard question. I want some predictions, my friend. Uh, Pockets, we'll start with Pockets Pro Series 1. Uh, first up, we have Joel Younger versus Michael Skerry. What are your thoughts? Uh, well, they played an exhibition match just last month. Uh, Michael ran away with it. I know Joel's been practicing very hard, but in saying that, Michael's put in so much time and effort. Um, I think the determination in him will get him past. I agree with you on that one. Uh, I've seen uh, Joel uh, reeling off some minor tournaments recently, and uh, he did look early early doors. He did look good against Michael Scary last month, but Michael, I think, it will just be a little bit too strong for him in the end, and I think it'll be a similar result. Uh, Justin Sage versus Rusty Wheeler. I think uh, I would go with Justin here. Um, he's been in the spotlight. He's played the big comps before. Um, Rusty's the, the people's champion. The crowd wants to see him win, but I think uh, Justin has more experience in regards to playing at a, at a, at a world stage, is which what we're classing this as. Totally agree. I think that uh, Justin's late form, what I've seen online, he's playing some excellent pool at the moment. He's potting beautifully and he's doing it very, very easily. Rusty, on his day, can beat any player in the world. I just don't think Sunday will be his day. James Delahunty versus Steve Woods. What are your thoughts? Well, uh, this one is this one's 50-50 for me, honestly. Um, James Delahunty has re recently come out of his retirement as such. He's putting in a Absolutely. lot of effort. He's running racks. Uh, Steve Woods as well. Um, he's doing very well at home as well. It's very hard for me, um, but I'm going to go with James Delahunty. Again, I tend to agree with you. Um, Steve is probably one of the players I, I've seen the least playing recently, uh, but I have seen a bit of James Delahunty, and again, he's, uh, he seems to have found his rhythm, and uh, I think James will get up in a close one. Finally, for Pro Series 1, we have Mark Robertson playing Ben Noonan, so this is another battle of the Victorians. Uh, what are your thoughts? Well, uh, Mark is widely considered the, the favourite to take out the whole Pro Series. Okay. Um, that's what a lot of, the, a lot of the audience and everyone view, views it as. But there's also a lot of people that say it can go anyone's way. Um, in saying that, Ben Noonan, um, he's a fighter. He's, they, they don't call him big time for no reason. Um, he'll put in 110%. I know he's practising. He's been coming out to pockets, having a hit. But... It's very first events. I think Mark's determination, he's practicing, he means business. I'm going to go with Mark. Mark Robertson, uh, yeah, my thoughts exactly. I think Mark Robertson, uh, he's putting in the hours on the table at the moment. And uh, dare I say it, he's probably putting in one or two more hours than Ben, if I were to guess. Sorry, Ben. Um, close one. I've got Mark in a, a very tight battle. So that's Pro Series 1. Pro Series 2. Uh, of course, we'll have some uh, more insight into this after Sunday night, but uh, Pro Series 2, for now, I just want a one-word answer from you. James Delahunty versus Joel Younger. Joel Younger. I'm going to go James Delahunty. Rusty Wheeler versus Justin Sage. I feel Rusty will be out for vengeance, revenge on uh, day two. I reckon, I reckon he'll, he'll pinch him on day two. That's his day. Okay. 
I'm going to stick with uh, Justin, but I uh, won't be at all surprised if Rusty gets up. Uh, we have Michael Scary and Steve Woods. This one's very interesting. Um, it depends if, if, I feel if Steve can get over James day one, um, I think he'll get over Michael on day two because James, I think, is one of the tournament favourites personally. Okay. I'm going to go with uh, Michael Scary there. And the final uh, first round matchup of Pro Series 2, we've got Mark Robertson versus Ben Noonan once again. Uh, what do you, how do you think that will go? It's going to go one of two ways. <laughs> it will indeed. It's either one of them, are going to, they're going to win one each, or I believe Mark will win both. Okay. That, so that's the way I see it going. I, I feel there's, there's a lot of pressure on Ben to win this match. Um, you know, coming from... He is the current Australian champion, don't get me wrong, um, but Mark's just, just shown sheer dominance in everyone he's playing and the, the effort he's putting in. So I do think it's either going to go one and one, or if Mark does get day one, I think he's going to pinch day two as well. Okay, I'm going to uh, I'm going to go for Ben Noonan in that one. Uh, I think he'll turn the tables around and they'll split it for the weekend for Sunday and Monday. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us today. We are Pocket Sports. We can't wait for Sunday. And thank you for your time. And hopefully we'll see you at the venue on Sunday. If not, we'll see you on the apps. Thank you.